Well, this presentation was really about where we are today with minimally invasive glaucoma surgery. We're all aware there's been a big boom in glaucoma surgery for the first time ever really. It was almost the graveyard of ophthalmology for many years and now we have a plethora of new devices and it's difficult to get a handle on exactly where, where this is going. We've had a lot of new de devices uh, approved and one in fact withdrawn the side pass uh, somewhat surprisingly in August. The, the key take home messages from my presentation in particular were really that these divide into two main groups the subconjunctival MIGs, which are more invasive and uh, probably more for the uncontrolled glaucoma. The uh, Schlems Canal type MIGs that are uh, FACO plus type procedures and less for very uncontrolled glaucoma and much more for improving patient's quality of life by reducing the medication burden. In, in Europe, th these devices face economic challenges because they're expensive and they're not driven by the uh, reimbursement that one gets in the United States and we've uh, found in Britain that uh, you can uh, you can get reimbursement by emphasizing the quality of life uh, improvement of the, the Schlems canal MIGs whereas uh, the subconjunctival MIGs these are less invasive than traditional glaucoma surgery but also shorter operating time which is very attractive to hospital finance managers if you can get more operations done in a shorter period of time that's an attractive option. They, they do have different applicability in that, uh, as I mentioned, the Schlems Canal MIGs have, have, are more modest in terms of efficacy, uh, better in terms of quality of life, um, and, and a good adjunct to cataract surgery, but perhaps not for patients with advanced glaucoma, where you really do need to get the pressure down as low as possible in one shot. Well, I'm a glaucoma specialist, so it's obviously the glaucoma highlights. And uh, it's interesting to see that MIGS, uh, again, is, is, is uh, becoming uh, higher on the radar of everyone in the ophthalmic world, and especially the cataract surgeons in Europe who are uh, exploring the possibility of adding them to their armamentarium. And it was pleasing to see a number of MIGS symposiums and courses specifically designed for cataract surgeons.